This is a visual representation of the gamuts or the ranges of colors that different output devices can um, create. And they're a little complex to look at, so I'm going to start on the right hand side because I think that image is a little bit um, less crazy. Um, first, I want to look at the kind of uh, parabola shape here on the background, the oval. It's not really an oval because it has a flat bottom. Um, these are all the colors that you could see in the world. But you'll notice that you can't reproduce all of these colors. And um, before I get too into it, the colors do not have a, a hard shift between the bright greens and these pastel colors. Um, the colors in the background have been faded so that you can see where the line changes. Um, but these are all the colors that you could, in theory, create. But in order to create them, you need to have an output device that is capable of producing those colors or that gamut. And you'll notice that all these different color modes inside here, they do not reproduce all of the visible colors that you might see that are created in the world. And so if you look at, at the different shapes, you'll see that different, uh, different color modes can produce different color gamuts. That biggest one on the outside is Pro Photo RGB. The next one on the inside is Adobe RGB. It's on the inside here. And it's the one that I would like you to use for all of your images in our class. Um, if you switch to sRGB, you can see that it's even smaller. All of these are RGB color modes so far, and they all produce certain colors. And then this one, 2200 matte paper, is a printing color output. And you can see all the colors inside this little wavy line are the colors that you could create using that particular printing setup. If I'm looking at a screen, uh, an image on screen, and it's in Photo Pro RGB, and I'm using a color up here in this bright green area, and then I take it and I try to print it, the color is going to be considered out of gamut. It means it's up here, I don't have it, I can't use it, but I'm going to try to use it. I'm going to send the data to the, to the printer. Maybe it's just the desktop printer that's next to my computer here. What it's going to do, let me go back for a second, it's going to say, I can't create that color, but I could, if I come down into the print a little parabola here, uh, I'm going to call it an amoeba, it'll take the very closest green color that is available in that output device's color gamut, and it will say, well, I can't create the really bright green, but I could create this one, and it will replace all of those shades with a close or comparable color within the gamut. If you look at the left-hand side, you'll see that there are different color modes on here. Um, the pink one, Swap CMYK. Swap is uh, a standardization of color. We're not going to talk about that in this class. If you take the Printing Fundamentals class, we'll talk about Grackle and Swap standards. But CMYK is a printing color gamut, and you can see the colors that it can reproduce are within this range. But they're not anywhere near as close to the visible light spectrum, which is this parabola out here on the outside. Keep that in mind. Keep this picture in your head. Even though I could, in, in Adobe RGB, create this bright green color up here, if I go to print it, I have to understand that it's going to replace whatever color is out of gamut, which is outside of this pink CMYK bubble, and it's going to replace it with whatever color is the closest inside there. Uh, there's one other thing I want to point out on this screen. So when we look at color, uh, the the light outside or in our office or wherever we happen to be looking at something can affect the quality of the color that we see. And so if I'm outside looking at something at 8 o'clock in the morning versus 12 noon when the sun is at the top uh, at, at its height, I could see a color completely different even though the whatever I'm looking at hasn't changed. And if I'm inside looking at it under lights, different lights can have a green or a yellow cast to the image that we don't see because our eyes um, our eyes will magically make that color go away. So you take a photo sometimes and you'll say, why does the, the image look yellow or green? Your camera can't automatically make that color go away. But um, what we say in the printing industry is that 5,000 Kelvin is the perfect light to look at color. Um, on this little screen here, it's saying that D65 is the white point. Um, that's the measure or the light wave that photographers say is the best light to look at photography. So keep that in mind.